Hello everybody, today I'm going to be talking about the Hypertruck ERX. I talked about this on my last video, and in today's video I'm just going to be kind of clarifying my viewpoints on the Hypertruck's powertrain, and how it stacks up against some other powertrains like full battery electric and traditional combustion engine powertrains. So fundamentally, Hylion's Hypertruck ERX is an electric powertrain. The wheels are driven by electric motors, which are powered by a battery pack. There is a renewable natural gas generator that produces electricity, but that electricity flows into the battery pack and it does not directly power the motors, nor does that renewable natural gas engine power the wheels directly. All of the electricity that the generator produces flows through the battery pack. That means that the performance of the Hypertruck ERX is going to be very much in line with a full battery electric powertrain. Because of this, it's a lot better than a traditional combustion engine semi. One thing that I think is worth kind of noting about this powertrain though, although it's not very significant, is that because all of the electricity flows through the battery, that battery I think is going to end up having a shorter lifespan than if that electricity directly went to the electric motors. In my last video, I also talked about the Hypertruck, and at that time I had basically called it a hybrid. My views on the Hypertruck have kind of changed since then, after thinking about it some more. I would still generally consider it a hybrid. On Wikipedia, it says, quote, Some varieties of hybrid electric vehicles use an internal combustion engine to turn an electrical generator, which either recharges the vehicle's batteries or directly powers its electric drive motors, end quote. So just based on that and kind of on how I kind of think of the Hypertruck, I would consider it to be basically a hybrid. But obviously it works completely differently than something like a Prius. It's a very different powertrain because fundamentally it is electric. There are about the same amount of parts in the Hypertruck's powertrain as there are in a battery electric truck, and it delivers the same kind of performance that a battery electric truck has as well. Now, the reason why I can't personally consider it to just be an electric truck is just because of that renewable natural gas generator. For most of the time that the truck runs, it's using that renewable natural gas generator. So as far as fuel goes, it's a very comparable experience to having a, an internal combustion engine semi. And that's one of the strengths that the Hypertruck has, is that for the Hypertruck, the refueling time is very quick compared to where it's probably going to end up being for a lot of these battery electric semis. So I would consider that a strength, but it can also be considered a weakness, because the production of renewable natural gas might not be as high as we're hoping that it's going to be. I think that the Hypertruck is most in line with kind of being classified as a plug-in hybrid based on its plug-in capability. You're going to have the ability with the Hypertruck to run it on the battery only, although that is a shorter range than what most full battery electric semis are going to offer, but it is still possible to do that in much the same way that you would with a plug-in hybrid car. However, there's a difference there for the Hypertruck, and that's that the Hypertruck is going to be consistently doing long-range drives, so the Hypertruck being a plug-in hybrid is not really as impactful as a plug-in hybrid car would be. So yeah, that's really all I wanted to go over. Um, I think that the Hypertruck ERX is very competitive with a fully battery electric powertrain, on, at least on the fundamental scale. This is all going to depend on whether Hylion is able to pull it off and is able to get these things produced and delivered, and it's also going to depend on whether companies making full battery electric semis are going to be able to pull it off. Obviously Tesla has had problems getting the Tesla semi out to market. They announced that in 2017, and here in 2022, five years later, it still hasn't really started production. So in my opinion, it's all really going to come down to who's able to pull it off and who's able to get them produced. And I think that if they're able to get them produced, I think that both Hylion and battery electric trucks can win. I think that they both have a place in the market, and I do think that they're both going to be successful over the long run. And aside from electric trucks, I do think that Hylion is much more competitive than a traditional combustion engine powertrain. So that's about it for this video. I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching. My first video here on Hylion got quite a bit of attention, much more than I was expecting, so it's good to know that you guys are interested in this. So let me know if you want to see me do more videos on Hylion, and also let me know if there's another company that you might want me to do a video on. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.